Hi guys, so I'm back to do a quick vlog for you. Um, this is going to be my 25th week pregnancy update. Um, so in my last vlog, um, I said that we've been to have the gender scan done and um, hopefully by now I've uploaded my gender reveal video. If I haven't, then hopefully I'll be doing that soon. So um, I won't talk too much about the gender in this video. I will just say that um, we are so excited um, to have known the gender. Um, we're just absolutely over the moon. And um, since then, I have done a lot of shopping. Let's put it that way. And um, yeah, we're just like absolutely over the moon excited. So it's it's all good. And as you can see today, I have some makeup on, which means I'm generally feeling a little bit better. Um, I kind of will feel a little bit better and then a few days later I'll feel dreadful again so it's kind of coming in waves and cycles at the moment so I don't always feel as bad um, and then I'll feel like absolute death again. Um, I missed my midwife's appointment so I have an appointment booked for the 30th of December or 31st of December I forget and um, she's going to do my blood tests and you know take all that stuff for me um, but she wanted to know how I was and I discussed with her that I've been getting SPD really bad this week well for the last couple of weeks actually so SPD means symphysis pubis dysfunction and it basically I don't know too much about it but I know that I've had it in my third and fourth and fifth pregnancies so basically um, I am in a lot of pain in my pelvis area um, basically where your pelvis kind of joins like this um, there's like movement and um, pain there and um, you know a lot of people kind of like confuse it with normal round ligament pain and your uterus stretching and growing and all that kind of thing but um, it makes carrying the pregnancy a lot harder because of the pain and the weight of the baby pushing down and um, I'm kind of waking up at like really early hours of the morning, um, say four o'clock, five o'clock, um, in absolute agony and I can barely walk, I'm in so much pain and um, I'm kind of frustrated because it feels like the morning sickness is still here but it's starting to ease off and now straight away I'm dealing with SPD already. Um, I didn't get it till a bit later on in my pregnancies with my last two so this is quite early for me to be getting SPD but it's just one of those things I guess um, yeah so that's that's quite difficult so I'm looking to get a um, maternity support belt that will hopefully help with some of that pain my midwife is going to refer me to a physiotherapist so that I can get some physio done and just some advice on how to deal better with it at the moment I'm kind of like having to um, stick a pillow between my legs when I go to sleep at night and um, generally kind of stay in one position and like once I've got into a comfortable position um, so yeah it's it's not it's not fun but um also I've been having a lot of acid reflux so basically I can't eat past say I don't know eight o'clock maximum and um, then I'm kind of like suffering with whatever I've eaten before and um, can't lie down and it's kind of just feels really uncomfortable so I've been like you know, gobbling on the Gaviscon and, um, you know, trying to ease some of it that way, and it's been helping a bit. Um, I avoid, like, spicy foods anyway and things that, you know, are known to aggravate it. So, yeah, um, but um, for, like, the happier side of things is that I am feeling a bit better, and um, I'm absolutely huge now, and the baby is about 35 centimetres long at this point from head to toe um, so that's like huge and um, I forget how much the baby will be weighing but probably I think about I think it was something like 650 grams something like that so it's like a decent um, weight to the baby as well so the baby's growing away happily oh my goodness this baby is so active like from morning to night Obviously there are intervals when the baby's sleeping and resting and just goes a bit more quiet. But for the most part the baby is kicking me all their time, all day long. 
and um, my husband's been able to feel movements on the outside, my children have been able to feel movements on the outside, and um, you can see my stomach moving, um, and yeah, just it's crazy that baby's got so big now that you can actually see the movements on the outside of the womb, not just on the inside, and it's nice because it feels like I'm able to share that with other people, not just, you know, all being about me, I feel like now I can like extend that, you know, um, feeling of excitement about the baby with other people as well so it's like really exciting and really nice and just like a constant reminder that I'm pregnant and a constant reminder of the little baby that's living inside of me and it's all just getting very real now um, so I have like 15 weeks to go um, 13 weeks till I'm um, fully full term and um, that I feel like that time is just gonna literally fly by um, you know, already the time has gone so quickly. I can't believe that I'm six six months, nearly six and a half months pregnant already. So, you know, this the time has gone so fast. And, um, yeah, I'm just getting so excited now to meet this little one. And, um, yeah, so in my gender reveal video, I will have hopefully shown you some scan pictures. Maybe if I was um, lucky enough to get it, um, a bit of the clip of the ultrasound scan. Um, so yeah, if you've seen that already, then that's great. If not, then hopefully that's coming up soon. And um, yeah, just everyone's over the moon now. We're actually thinking about baby names. And um, I've like got a lot of the baby's clothes down from the loft and started sorting through them. And um, yeah, I'll talk more about that. Um, in another video. Anyways, so yeah, those are the symptoms that I've had for this week. Um, and yeah, so I am huge and I will try and insert a belly pic for you so you can see how big my bump is. I feel like my bump is like huge, but it's kind of lower than it was before. Uh, the weight of the baby seems to be like pushing, pulling the baby down a bit. So it's like, it doesn't look as big as I thought it was going to be. I mean, the speed at which my bump was growing before was absolutely terrifying. And I really was worried that I was going to like literally be the size of a house. <laughs> and um, the fact that I am, you know, it's not, I'm not as big. I mean, I am big, I'm huge, but I'm not as big as I could have been. I think things have definitely slowed down in a way. So, um, but that could just be in my head. I don't know. Um, so yeah, another thing is that my fingers have started swelling. I can't wear my wedding rings anymore. You might be able to see the marks when my rings have been, my wedding ring and my engagement ring. I've had to like take them off because they were digging in and actually making my fingers. Like, I tried to keep them on um, and they were like weeping a little bit and bleeding like it was actually cutting into the skin. So um, yeah, um, I've had to take them off. So I'm going to put them on a little necklace around my neck, I think, but I'm trying to find a chain that's strong enough to support them because obviously I really don't want to lose them. Um, it's a bit annoying not being able to wear my rings because I feel like when you're pregnant, um, especially when you have your fifth pregnancy and people ask you, you know, how many children you have and stuff like that, they automatically look at your hand to see if you're married. And it just so frustrates me because I feel like people, when they look at me, would expect me not to be pregnant anyway. And then when they see no rings on my fingers it kind of like confirms to them that somehow yeah she's not she's not married so I feel like I'm like constantly like explaining where my rings are which then makes me look like I'm making it up <laughs> like I'm not really married why is she ranting about her marriage like no one's interested anyway so that's funny but um yeah um definitely noticed that the little ones are much more excited by the idea of baby now they're coming over and kissing my belly and um just wanting to cuddle the baby and talking about the baby all the time and um, I've actually got Daniel's um, buggy out with his little baby doll Christina always pushes a little baby doll around with her and um, we've got Danny's out and he's pushing his baby doll around and we're really trying to encourage um, them both with like playing these kinds of you know imaginary play with their dolls because you know that will encourage them and you know make the idea of baby much more exciting less terrifying and involves them more into it and I I like that because I don't want them to feel like they're being left out of the situation um, yeah so 
I don't have to say really, I think that's about everything. Um, yeah, so that's my week 25 pregnancy vlog, and I'll insert a pic hopefully, and I'll be back with you for another video next week. Okay guys, see you later, bye!